our reporters continue to be all around that school, including uh, Jody Long, who has a live interview. There are so many stories to share. Jody, what's your perspective and what can you tell us? Well, Eric, um, we are still outside of one of the entrances into the Perry High School slash middle school area. Um, and as we have been standing here throughout the morning, uh, the police presence has significantly dwindled down, but we've also been seeing um, more bystanders come up. I had a chance to speak with uh, this young man. His name is Seth Dillinger. Uh, Seth uh, recently graduated from Perry High School roughly two years ago, but he tells me that his two younger brothers, their twins, um, are enrolled in school here. And Seth, uh, this morning was a pretty scary one for you and your family. Oh, yeah. uh, I first woke up and I just saw all the sirens, everything, and then I got a call from my younger brother saying that there was a shooting at the school and uh, my father was just dropping them off right before it happened. So they pulled up and then saw the students running out. And so they just decided to just get out of there because obviously something wasn't right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Seth told me that they uh, pulled up to the school approximately at 735. We know from police and investigators that the first call for help came in at 737. So, I mean, just moments, uh, split seconds here in between your brothers being dropped off um, and this incident happening. Uh, but they're OK. Oh yeah, they're they're completely fine. Just a little shook up, shooken up. Obviously, everyone here is you know small community is kind of hard, kind of, sorry, kind of hard not to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this is a this is a small town. Of course, we know that 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 the student body here um, is one that is also fairly small too. And Seth, you you graduated here um, from you graduated from the high school about two years ago. Um, and Seth, you you just just paint a picture for us what what the what the school what the school community is like here it, you, it's it's small um, and very close-knit yeah very close-knit everyone knows each other so just something like this to happen is you know very out of the blue mm -hmm. very yeah just shocking um yeah Seth, we, we, we really appreciate um, your time and we're so thankful to know that your twin brothers are safe. Uh, once again, Seth, Seth Dillinger here tells us uh, that his father was dropping off his two younger brothers at the middle school entrance, which is what you're seeing right here. That's that white and blue awning. That's actually the entrance into the middle school. Um, and when his parents were dropping off the boys um, at around 735 this morning, they didn't make it too far out of their father's pickup truck when they saw children running out from the school. Um, and that's when they knew something was bad. They left the scene um, and went home. And Seth tells us they actually turned on our news station, KCCI 8 News, um, to learn more of what was happening here. So as as things kind of die down in this area, less of, of a police presence, we are hearing and seeing more from those in the community that just want to know what happened.